Yum yum. Uh, hello everybody. Welcome to Pixel Fondue. This is Chris. Uh, I'm going to do some uh, sculpting on this centaur. Or I said centaur again. I don't know why. It's a cyclops. Uh, I'm going to do some more sculpting on this cyclops head. Uh, right now, the base mesh is pretty much laid out. I really don't want to go too far in or too far out now. So I'm working on kind of my secondary shapes. I don't want to get too detailed yet. I'm just trying to find out where I'm going to put the details, right? Where the details need to uh, sit on the model, right? I got the base mesh that's got the basic form, and then these secondary forms on this face and skull where everything needs to sit. Everything that I'm doing now, I should be able to see when I zoom out to about that size right there. Right, I'm wanting to just be able to get things into position. I've got to do a little bit of work on the ears. That the base mesh, I didn't work through well enough. So I've got to get some uh, spots on the ears so they can kind of, they don't kind of, they kind of roll over there at the top of the ear. It's not uh, as separate as I want it to be. But we'll see what happens to that a little bit later. But uh, for the most part here, all you're going to see is me using the clay brush and probably the move brush. Right? At this point, there's no, no need for me and my workflows to work with any other brush. And I'm not really getting too high too high uh, density on my uh, polygon count. I, it help, if I keep it low, it helps keep me from getting too far ahead. Now you'll see me do some masking, some blurring, and using this inflate. Or actually, I guess I would say it's a negative inflate, so it's more of like a deflate. So you can kind of use ZBrush function to just pull that ear ball or ear back into position. So right about there, I should be able to see all my forms coming into position about that size. If I'm working on something that's more detailed than that, then I'm getting ahead of myself. Unless I've got a really good idea that I need to get out quickly, I try not to get too detailed yet. Just trying to pull the eyeballs and the eyelids out a little bit. Give something for the skull to see. Now, if you look uh, directly on each side of that eye, there's that initial bulge that's kind of in the middle on each side of the corner of the eye. It's a little bit too big for me right now. I'll be I'll be changing that in the next uh, session. You know, you see me just mask that off, blur it, kind of tighten up that uh, corner of the eyeball or eyeball corner of the earlobe area. Some more things get that back of the skull a little more definition. Work on some of the folds that come around the mouth. I do a little bit of cutting in there at the end of the sculpting. That some of that mouth will be a little bit more defined. I'm wanting to pull that out a little bit, not too much. I could have just sculpted that. No need for the mask and the inflate. But here, if the model's at a nice low resolution, I can guide those lines a little bit better so things don't get too crazy, right? I just follow those lines around that eye, and I'll know it'll look pretty good in the uh, base mesh. I'm using that move brush just to tighten things up a little bit. Pull them out. Again, some more of that eyeball. <laughs> I said eyeball again. More of that ear. It's not an eyeball, it's an ear. Yeah, that spot right there that I just touched on the corners of the eye, I'm going to have to change that around. That's standing out too much. It's too big and it doesn't seem to have much of a function. It just seems like a bulb, you know, bulging out of there. So I want to pull those cheeks in, so I just kind of mask it, blur it, tighten up the bottom of it a little bit, then I'll uh, de inflate. Pulls it in a little bit. Nice way to get some good definition. Okay, I'm starting to come to the end of this here. 
I'm going to shoot it over into key shot and see how things are looking. Do a little quick little save. Send it over, pull it back. And that's kind of what key shots see it. Those secondary forms are starting to take good shape. I can start putting uh, a little bit more work into refining those. And then uh, I'll have something good to start detailing on top of. All right, so that's just about it. Sorry for the hasty narration, but uh, I just didn't have much time to uh, talk it through. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yum, yum.